One of the hard parts about being a dividend-focused YouTuber is trying to appeal to the many different kinds of dividend investors out there. Well, in my attempt to do just that, welcome back to my Power 5 Stocks of the Week. In this series, each week, I present you all with the top performers of the following categories. Dividend yield, dividend streak, dividend growth rates, 10-year returns, and the stock trading the highest percentage off of their 52-week high. All of these stocks will have an ex-dividend date of next week, and the only requirements for consideration to be on the list is that you have to beat the market over the past 10 years and have a dividend streak of at least five years. If you're looking for a quick list of dividend stocks that could have your next winner, make sure you guys tune in each week. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. But now let's dive into this week's list. The stock this week with the highest dividend yield is JP Morgan Chase, stock ticker JPM. JP Morgan is a quarterly payer in the financial sector, paying $4 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 3.2%. JP Morgan has been growing and paying their dividend over the last 12 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 6.63%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 14.42%, and a payout ratio of 29.32%. JPM has an ex-dividend date of April 5th and a payout date of April 30th. And $10,000 invested into JPM 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have turned into $33,987.11, which is a 13.01% year-over-year return rate. And as always here on the channel, we compare that to the S&P 500, where in the same time frame, the S&P turned into $30,764.26, which is a difference of $3,222.85 over the past 10 years. This week's stock with the longest dividend streak is Roper Technologies, stock ticker ROP. ROP is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector, paying $2.73 per share per year, with a forward dividend yield of 0.64%. Roper has been growing and paying their dividend over the last 30 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 10.27%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 12.12% and a payout ratio of just 15.75%. ROP has an ex-dividend date of April 5th and a payout date of April 21st. And that $10,000 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then in Roper would have turned into $36,471.88, which is a 13.81% year-over-year return rate. Once again, that's compared to the S&P that turned into that same $30,764.26, which is a difference of $5,707.62 on the last 10 years. This week's stock that has the best dividend growth rates is also the stock trading the highest percentage off of their 52-week high, which means we only have two stocks left to discuss. Before we get to these last two stocks, it's my obligation as a YouTuber to make sure I ask you guys to hit the thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the video as it helps other dividend investors find the channel. Make sure you guys are subscribing and ringing the bell so you guys don't miss any of my dividend-related or time-sensitive dividend-related updates. And then lastly, use the comment section down below to let me know if you have any questions or comments or just the comment hashtag bell squad to let me know you guys are subscribed with the notification bell turned on all right let's uncover these last two stocks this week's stock with the best dividend growth rates and the stock that's trading the highest percentage off of their 52 week high is the new york times stock ticker nyt nyt is a quarterly payer in the communication services sector paying 44 cents per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.19 percent the new york times has been paying and growing their dividend over the last five years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 21.41%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 16.28%, and a payout ratio of 29.27%. At the time of recording, the New York Times was trading 22.45% off of their 52-week high. NYT has an ex-dividend date of April 4th and a payout date of April 20th. And that $10,000 investment in the New York Times 10 years ago would have turned into $40,330.48, which is a 14.96% year-over-year -year return rate, and again, that's compared to the S&P 500 that turned into $30,764.26, which is a difference of $9,566.22. All right, and this week's stock with the best 10-year returns is Intuit, stock ticker INTU. Intuit is a quarterly payer in the technology sector, paying $3.12 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 0.73%. Intuit has been paying and growing their dividend over the last 12 years, they have a three-year dividend growth rate of 13.28%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 14.87%, and a payout ratio of 20.2%. Intuit has an ex-dividend date of April 6th and a payout date of April 18th. All right, $10,000 10 years ago, only reinvesting dividends since then 
into it would have turned into $72,489.10, which is a 21.9% year-over-year return rate, which again is compared to the S&P that turned into $30,764.26, which is a difference of $41,724.84 with only 10K only 10 years ago. As mentioned in the video, each of these stocks has beaten the market over the past 10 years, has a dividend streak of at least five years, and all go ex-dividend next week. Let me know down in the comments if any of these stocks piqued your interest and what it was about that stock that got you excited. And if you guys happen to miss it, make sure you guys check out this video where I walk you through a filtering process I use for dividend stocks. But until next time,